In today's episode of our inventory system, we are going to be working with, with stackables and non-stackable items. So, if you see here, I have my inventory up, I have some stones that's going to add, they are not stackable. And we have some wood that is stackable. Here I have three in the, in the, in the next one, I have two remaining slots here, they stack up to three. It's going to fill up that one and move on to the next one. So, let's get right into it. When we click play now, we can pick up this and we basically have some wood. What we haven't handled is stackables and non-stackable items. So that is what we're going to be doing in this episode. First things first, we need another item to add, and one that's not going to be stackable. So head over to your content drawer, head over to your inventory and your items. Now I'm going to just duplicate this one, I'm going to call it item stone stone and wood that's usually what people use right so this is going to be name stone description a mighty fine pebble a singular pebble right it's going to be not stackable and we need an icon for that as well so if you give me one second i'm just going to add one in my content drawer here okay we're back again i've added a stone texture that I just found on the internet, and I'm going to change this one out to be a stone. Now, if you go into your map and you're a master pickup item, here, you can just hold Alt and then drag it over, and that's going to duplicate it. In your bottom right, select your stone, and we're going to put one for now. So if I go in here and I pick it up, you can see that it's working just fine. However, if I do five, it picks up and it doesn't actually separate it. It still, it still thinks that it's a, uh, it still thinks that it's a, uh, a stackable. So that is what we're going to be doing now. We're going to head into our master pickup item, and over here, what we're going to do is we're going to head into your add item, and we are going to do some work over here. First things first, we're going to add a new input. We just need a reference to our pick a actor which is going to be master pickup not class this is going to be an object reference like so and then we're going to promote that to a local as well after that what we want to do is we want to just unplug this one and drag it away because now we need a check so let's grab our item that we are trying to implement uh, drag out of it and type default, get class defaults, like so, and break that open. In here, we have our stackable variable. However, we also need another variable in here, so let's do that right away. Head into your content drawer, inventory, and your item info. In here, add a new variable. We're going to call this one max stack size. We'll type integer. Save that and close it out. Compile save. And now we can break this open and we have our max stack size. Out from stack, we'll drag and create a branch. Plug that into after our local. If it's not stackable, we are going to check that the amount to add local is, um, this is gonna, we're gonna be looping things later. So this is why we're gonna have to do a check to see if our amount to add is greater than zero. You would think that it already is since we're already here, but we are gonna be looping, so. We need to add a little test here. If it's not, then we just do a return with a success. And we also need another output in our little thing here. And that's going to be the remainder, which is going to be an integer. So it's not stackable. And it is not greater than zero. So we are empty. Then we're going to give a success and zero. We don't have anything left. However, if it is over one, so it's not empty, then we're going to plug in our previous one. Out from the branch, we can return. So we, we did not find a empty slot, so it's not a success. And our remainder is our amount to add local. Just going to move this one here. And then we are going to remove the item to add local here and we're going to type in one because we want to go one at a time here 
and then we do want to do a unplug this one and then we want to do a mount to add local check if it's greater than zero again you know come to think of it we probably don't need this check over here because we are checking it over here as well let me just look at my why did i do it like that yeah because we're because we're removing some afterwards okay there is a method to madness. There is. This is probably not like the most efficient way to do it. This is how I figured it out. How I was going to do it anyway. So if uh, if we find an empty slot, we're going to set the array element to one, right? Because it's not stackable, so we're not going to add to it. We're just going to set it to one. And then we're gonna see if we still have more to add in our stack, uh, the the stack in the world. So what we wanna do is we're gonna get the amount add local, and we wanna set it after true, and we wanna set it to amount add local negative one, no minus one, sorry, like so, minus one. And now we're doing another test, right? So if it's greater than zero. If it's not greater than zero, sorry, then it's a success and it's back to zero again. However, if we still have, then we are going to plug it back in to our branch over here. Now I'm going to just drag this away a little bit because we are going to be working with uh, another system as well. But let's just test this one. So if it's a non-stackable item, that is non-stackable. So now we got two and we cannot pick up our wood because we have added a branch, which is checking for a stackable item and wood is stackable. What I also want to test though is in the world, if I add three on this one and three, no five on this one and three on this one, if I click play, it's going to loop through until it adds all of them and then remove it. This one, it loops, it's not going to do anything because we haven't set up the... The reason that is happening is very simple. If we go back to our master pickup and on the interact, we are only initializing when we are going into true. However, on this one, what we want to do is we... Because when we are trying to add and there's still remaining uh, things, still remaining things to add, then we are not passing a success. We are passing a false and updating the remainder so in your master pickup out from remainder uh, out from amount what you want to do is you want to set the amount to the remainder out from false and then you want to copy this down and then do another initialize because you want to be able to pick up what you can and then update it accordingly so right now if I click play and I Grab this stuff there. I can add this. This has three in it. I can click it. We have two. There's technically one left in here now. Uh, in this in this pickup. We cannot pick up anything else because we don't have any more room. What we are going to do now is we're going to head over to our interact and then we're going to head over to add item again. And we're going to start working with our stackable. So if it is stackable, we want to create a new very uh, function we're going to call this one find empty valid slot it's going to have an input of the item uh, master item class reference item to add local because it's going to be passed through from our if i do find empty valid slot here plug that into there and then item to add local needs to go in there like so in here, what we're going to do is we're going to have a two outputs. We're going to have the array index. It's going to be of type integer. And another one which is of type success, uh, success with type boolean. That is the outputs. What we want to do, we want to loop through our inventory slots. So you want to get your slots array. And we're going to do a for each loop with break. What we are going to check is we're going to break out our element and we're going to check if our item 
is equal to our add item local. So we're just going to promote that local. It's equal to that. And grab our item local defaults, break that open. If it's uh, if the item in our array is equal to the one that we are trying to add, and the quantity in the array slot is less than max stack size, that's going to branch out into a true. And we are going to break it, break out of the loop, like so. After we break out of it on our completed, we're just going to return. Success is the answer to our Boolean, and the index is the one that we found. Compile save, head back to your add item. Out from success, do a branch. If we did not succeed in finding an empty slot, then we are going to try to uh, add it to a, another empty slot. So what we're going to do is we just move this down again. Copy the find empty slot. Out from in our false, we're going to drag into our find empty slot. Did we find an empty slot? If it is true, get our inventory slots. Set the array element. Index is the free index that we found. Item is our add item local. We need to break that open. And the quantity is one. We're adding one at a time. Size to fit. If we're f if it's not true, then we want to return with a fail. And the remainder is our amount to add local. Because we did not manage to find an empty slot, so we're not going to take away anything. So yeah. After we have set this one, we want to set our amount to add local to amount to add local minus one. We could also probably do decrement int, but I'm just going to do it like this because it's just easier for me. Now what we want to do is we want to check if amount to add local is greater than zero. Do we still have do we do we still have more to add after we have added this one? If we don't, we return with a success and the remainder is zero. We are done with our loop here. However, if we still have more to go, we want to go back from our true into our first branch where we check if it's stackable. Because remember we are working with stackables now and what we are basically saying is that, okay, we, we, we are stackable, but we don't have an empty valid slot, right? Our, the stack that we find isn't valid. So we need to make a stack. However, after we made a stack, we still want to check if we're stackable, because then we want to go up to the find valid slot again, and this time it's going to go out to be valid. So we're not going down here again, we're going up there the next time. Out of true, what we want to do is we want to set array element. to our inventory slots. The index is going to be the array index that we found. I'm going to break that open. Copy your slots down, get a copy, and you want to get a copy at the index that we found. You want to break it open, and you want to set quantity plus one. That is going to be the new quantity of the array. Size to fit. Again, amount to add local. You want to set that to amount to add local. Minus one. And then we want to do another test where we check if our amount to add local is greater, greater than zero. If it is, we want to do a loop again and add another one to the to the array. However, if it's not greater, we're done with it. We can return success, zero remainder. True, 
goes back into our condition branch at this very beginning. And I think that should be it. If I click play now, we got our stones. Uh, we got our stones. We haven't. Do we have any lumber here? We should have. We got lumber. It's not uh, doing it properly, so let's fix that. If you want to head to your master pickup, uh, we need to just uh, fix a couple things. So your pickup actor is yourself. Then you want to go over to item wood, and you want to make sure that the max stack size is higher than zero. We also need to add your uh, in your add item. You want to add this to your set array element. Compile save, and if you click play now. You can see that we have three and we have two, so that should also be a little bit wrong. No, that's actually right, because I've set it to five over here. So if I set it to 15, we're going to add 15 and it's going to stack in three. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. If I've added 16, it's going to do one more. And there we go. If I add stones here, so I am going to add four of this, it's going to, no, I'm going to add seven wood, I'm going to add three stones, stones are not stackable, and the wood are, so I can add seven wood and three stones. You can also do it in another order, of course, doesn't matter, and it's also going to, always going to find the nearest slot, so if I do wood here, and then I'm going to do three, right, so we have three stone, and now we have a stack of one here. It's gonna, it can stack up to three, so if we have three wood here that we pick up, it's gonna fill up this one and then move on to the other one. And that is also why we're doing it, like looping through it, adding one at a time, basically. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Remember to like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.